ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः नमस्ते एवरीबडी आई हैव बीन रिक्वेस्टेड बाय सम फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स टू कंडक्ट दिस चिल्ड्रन सत्संग व्हिच आई हैव बीन डूइंग रेगुलरली एट द टेंपल ऑफ फाइन आर्ट्स वेयर वी टॉक अबाउट इंस्पायरिंग स्टोरीज श्लोकास फेमस स्तोत्रम्स दैट वी रिसाइट and also about the significance of several festivals and fasts of india and uh, while we are experiences experiencing this pandemic this uh, corona virus pandemic this said anna why don't you do this as a video and share it with everybody so in this i would like to first share the first video hopefully i'll be able to do a few videos um on uh, with a beautiful story about something very optimistic the basic theme of the story is everything happens in this universe for the good god who created everybody he runs the world show and he does everything for the ultimate good of everybody and the ultimate good is to be come one with god himself so he places us in different kinds of situations in families in groups of friends in groups of fellow workers in groups of fellow office people the entire design of this universe though we think we are controlling it is already designed in a beautiful way so that our souls will evolve with the best of lessons to come back to him and he is the greatest good so everything that happens in this universe happens for the supreme good and the most optimistic and the most positive of reasons so even this pandemic that is we are experiencing now must be happening for some supreme good which we cannot see many of us have actually begun to see many good things staying at home learning to cook learning to clean learning to be with family learning to uh, share and be creative in different ways so this pandemic is actually a blessing in disguise if we really were to turn our eyes and see so the the story that i'm planning to share today is a story about uh this very theme or this very idea that everything happens for the supreme good once long ago there lived a young prince who's uh, who became often or rather his parents passed away when he was a young boy of 16 and he had to ascend the throne and become the king of the nation and uh, when that happened he was a little apprehensive or anxious because he was very young but he had a very good uh, prime minister and uh, that elderly man he used to call him uncle prime minister because he grew up with uh, in the palace with the uh, prime minister and he used to call him uncle and that prime minister was a very devout uh, religious spiritual person who always believed that god did everything for the good everything positive the lord did everything is for the good everything that happens that is seemingly bad also ultimately is for the good only and uh, for the supreme good so when the boy ascended the throne he told his uh, prime minister uncle uncle you know i'm so young and i don't know how to rule the country you have to help me so the uncle said don't worry kanna everything happens for the good i am here and with the little bit knowledge i have and with prayer we will be able to rule this country beautifully always relying on a divine source so like this they ruled the country and one day the young boy being kshatriya by birth he had a great desire to um, go hunting and he said prime minister uncle can we go hunting so he said yes we'll organize all the men together so they got all the entire army and they got the map of the chart of the area where they were going to conduct the hunting expedition it was a forest area that they charted out and uh, everybody gathered and the plans were because they had need to shoot animals that are uh, moving objects because this is a kind of hunting expedition is a training for kshatriyas in warfare so they all went uh, into the jungle and by noon everybody got lost 
by some strange reason they all got lost but the prime minister and the young prince were together it was midday and they got lost and uh, the boy was really very hungry and thirsty and it was the summer season in india of course and at that time a tree a mango tree was laden with beautiful succulent mangoes and the prince was so hungry he just quickly climbed the tree and took out his dagger and he cut a mango and he slashed his thumb and the thumb it was midday and the thumb started to spurt out blood and so the prime minister quickly tore his veshti and uh, wrapped up the wound and said kanna o oh, royal prince everything happens for the good i'm sure even this is happening for the good now the prince was really very upset with this kind of a theory at this time when he was bleeding and he said get away get lost sir it is really bleeding and i am so hungry and thirsty and how can this happen for the good i don't want to see your face you're talking nonsense get away he said he always used to be patiently listening to the uncle he always used to tell him everything happens for the good but this time he was really hungry and a hungry man is an angry man so he told the prime minister get out so the prime minister moved away and stood behind a tree and mumbled beneath his breath even me going away must be for some good and the prince heard this and he said i don't want to listen to your big theory about everything is happening for the good just get out so the prime minister had to move away and went his way and then after a while uh, the prince was sitting there feeling sorry for himself looking at his thumb which was bleeding and now had a bandage on it and suddenly appeared some tribal people this tribal people had a huge net and they were looking for a narabali that is a human sacrifice it was a full moon night that particular night and they were worshippers of kali and for them the greatest kind of sacrifice in the tribal worship was to have a human sacrifice where they have a huge pit and they burn a human being or they put him on the stakes and they offer her him to the goddess kali kind of tribal worship so they threw this net on top of the prince and said ha ah, we have got a beautiful handsome young boy which we we can offer in the sacrificial pit to our tribal goddess of the forest tonight so they carried him and he said no you can't take me you can't take me i'm a king i'm a king and so many people are dependent on me and oh you're a king even better is better for our kali we can offer him a raja raja bali a, a, a kingly sacrifice so they took the king and uh, they, he said no you can't and they and he was uh, defined but they tied him to the stakes in the evening before the huge pyre to be lit and for him to be cut and dropped into this pyre and he was there right up with his hands all tied up and gagged and the tribal chieftain was sitting there with all the tribals waiting to offer this as the moon was rising in the evening and um, they were going to cut him when suddenly the chieftain noticed that the boy had a bandage around his thumb now we cannot have or uh, they could not offer a human body that had a kalank or a blemish the human body that is offered to kali has to be complete and perfect with no blemish on it it cannot have a cut or a wound or a mutant uh, mutancy it it should be a perfect body and so they said release him we cannot offer this sacrifice so the boy was like wow this happened for the good how stupid of me i really l- love my uncle prime minister and with great wisdom he told me everything happens for the good now how will i locate this prime minister uncle how will i get him so through he was released and he ran into the forest and through the mountainous areas through echoes the mountain echoes he said uncle prime minister uncle prime minister he was shouting out and somehow through the echoes the prime minister uncle managed to locate him and they located each other and he ran to the prime minister uncle and fell at his feet and wept bitterly and said uncle you are so correct you spoke such great words of wisdom 
everything happens for the good. God puts us in all situations and he creates everything to happen for the good. See, my thumb that was bleeding finally protected me from getting killed. I could have been killed because of this kalank, because of this blemish I was saved. Everything has happened for the good. So he hugged his uncle prime minister. And his, then he looked at his uncle prime minister and he said, Okay, this happened for the good. But how, when you left me, I chased you away and you were away from me and you really suffered because you were not with me and you were feeling very sorry for me and worried about me and anxious about me. How was that for the good, Uncle Prime Minister? And Uncle Prime Minister said, Well, had I been with you, they would have sacrificed me and that would be the end of my life. So you see, me going away also happened for the supreme good. So everything happened for the supreme good. You getting angry, you chasing me away, me feeling sad. Finally, everything happened for the supreme good. See, and today you are convinced and you have learned the greater lesson through conviction that everything happens for the good. So in this beautiful story, it's such a lovely story to remember that teaches us a lot of patience when we have to go through certain troubles. In life, the waves of happiness and sadness, sickness and health, loss and gain, success and failure. These are natural to the way of Prakriti or the nature of this world. And to be just patient in those difficult moments and to see on the flip side how this could be for the good. And if we strain our faculties to actually look out for what could be good in there, there are so many things that will be revealed to us. Even in this pandemic of this coronavirus and this COVID-19, we have so many spin-offs, better uh, things that make a better people. We are able to be patient, be able to learn so many other skills of uh, household duties and uh, spending time with family and so on and so forth. And so this is such a beautiful experience. And I hope you all enjoy this story and carry this story with you always so that we'll be able to remember that everything happens for the supreme good. And that positive energy, that positive, optimistic outlook is so important in these moments when we are clouded or when we are beneath the grey days of depression and anxiety. Hari Om. Namaste. Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha.